I would like to show you the many resources that are available for you, both in your Gospel Library app as well as on the internet here to study church history. Come follow me. This will be valuable for individuals and families having uh, scripture study, as well as Sunday School, Relief Society Elders Quorum, Seminary Institute teachers. So let me walk you through some of these resources to help you. If you go to the church website, churchofjesuschrist.org, under Libraries, go to Gospel Library, and there is a button called Come Follow Me. Again, this is the same source that you have on your phone in the Gospel Library app. When you go to your library, there's a Come Follow Me button. Under the Come Follow Me button, there's the individual, there's the Individuals and Families button, Doctrine and Covenants 2021. It's a great resource. You can click on the month and just say, oh, it's January. I want to study, oh, 18 through the 24th of January is Doctrine and Covenants, sections 3 through 5. It's the same as if you had the book, except better because they have links to pictures, videos, and slides. Let me show you another resource. If you go to comefollowme.churchofjesuschrist.org, it'll take you to a Come Follow Me site where you can go study. They have uh, quotes and videos, uh, collections, media resources, uh, Doctrine and Covenants, historical resources, all kinds of really, really good things there. Specifically, if you go to the Gospel Library or the church homepage and click under uh, Libraries, there's a Gospel Media button. Under the Gospel Media button, there's some really neat things here. One, featured collections, including Come Follow Me Weekly Lessons. And it will have, if I click on that, it will have week by week which videos that will help you in your personal study or in, if you're teaching a class. Also in here, there's Come Follow Me and Doctrine and Covenants teaching videos if you're on your Gospel Library app. Some really, really neat things. Let me show you another website. There's another website. If you type in history.churchofjesuschrist.org, it has all kinds of resources, anything about church history. It has saints, you know, the books that they're writing of our church history, uh, both volume one, volume two. They have videos, they have slides, anything that has to do with church history, prophets, uh, you can experience museums, historical sites, all kinds of fun things. In addition to that, I wanted to show you something about ch church historical sites. There is an article in the newsroom currently saying that they are putting church historical sites in, they're giving virtual tours. So it's really neat here. If you, again, if you just go to newsroom.churchofjesuschrist.org there's the website here or you could just go to church or newsroom.churchofjesuschrist.org and type in virtual tours and find church historical site tours there's a great article they're showing that the missionaries are there giving virtual tours your family can have a virtual tour or if you go to the very bottom i clicked on here's a list of the places joseph smith's birthplace new york and pennsylvania sites Kirtland Historical Sites. They even tell you how long they like. And if you click on them, it'll show you, it'll say, oh, you can take a tour of this. It's about 50 minutes long. Or if you're a seminary or institute teacher, you can take a virtual tour, schedule it, and they'll walk your class through a virtual tour of these sites. I imagine these sites will book up quickly when everyone finds out about them. So I would do them sooner than later. But a lot of fun doing these things here. One last site that is probably my favorite and the one that I would spend quite a bit of time on uh, personally as well as uh, as a teacher. If you go to the church uh, website or it's in your Gospel Library app. Again, I'm going under Libraries to Gospel Library. Under Gospel Library, there's one called Restoration and Church History. You click on that. There's lots of tabs here. And again, many of these links are the same places you can go through other ways. But this is an easy way to get there. 
I'm going to the Doctrine and Covenants study, because that's what I'm studying, is the Doctrine and Covenants. There's wonderful buttons in here, including Revelations in Context. I really like this one because it explains the background and the historical context of the Revelations. Now, unfortunately, they don't tell you the sections that each article is about. You have to click on them to figure it out. But for example, if I'm studying section three this week, and I'm like, okay, contributions of Martin Harris, that covers sections three, five, 10, 17, and 19. And here's a wonderful article about the background of those sections talking about Martin Harris. Again, it's a little bit tricky because you have to figure out what section you want, but you can go through and click on them and they'll always tell you the sections that go with each article. Again, I wish they put the sections out here. It would be easier for us, but it is what it is for now. Let me show you one more thing about this. Again, how to get here. You go to libraries, gospel library. I'm under restoration and church history. And I'm studying the Doctrine and Covenants. That was Revelations in Context. They have Joseph Smith papers, podcasts here, Joseph Smith's Revelations. Uh, I also like the uh, historical resources, so I'm going to click on that one. What's here? Section by section for Come Follow Me sections of what to study and how to study it. They have the section numbers here. They have pictures. They have some great text on some historical context on each of those. They even have links to people. And again, here is the historical background, the context and section. Here they tell you which ones you can go to. So there's an advantage to going to this section and going through each of them and learning and studying. Uh, it's a great resource to get you going. Now, I know I've covered tons of stuff, but if you were to click on every link that I just showed you throughout the year, you would have more information than you have time to cover. The church has given us a great blessing by giving us so many resources. I hope this is helpful, and I hope it'll bless you, your family, and any class you might be teaching this year. Uh, God bless you all.